All right, everybody, we're going to go now to Christina Pascucci for yeah. a check on what's happening at Satakoy Elementary School, the protest that's underway in North Hollywood. Hi. Good morning, and sorry if I spoke over you. It's so loud. There are media helicopters hovering above. There is screaming from both sides, um, and and really, it's come to a head here. You can see the parents on the other side from Satakoy Elementary saying, "Leave our kids alone." They have their signs up, and they started marching. And then the counter protesters who were supporting the LGBTQ community, they started marching. There was actually a fight that broke out, and it turned kind of ugly for a second. Sadly, as we're basically on the steps of Satakoy Elementary School. Um, honestly, very, very upsetting to, to witness and to see. I want to bring in Superintendent Carvalho, who is here. Hi, Superintendent Christina from Fox 11. Good to see you. Um, you know, watching and witnessing what's happened here is just, it feels like it's a sad morning. It is a sad morning. Uh, Any time that uh, an educational environment is disrupted, disturbed, uh, is not a good thing. Secondly, you know, there's nothing wrong with elevating someone's voice, but uh, it shouldn't be at the cost of suppressing someone else's voice. The other sad reality is that uh, over the past two weeks, individuals who work at this school have been threatened and insulted just for being who they are. A flag that represents many members of our community was burned. That's just not acceptable. Over what? A reference of a book that represents families in our community uh, it is a sad day but you know what it represents sadly uh, the fact that everything these days is politicized as superintendent as a parent as an educator we should not accept children being used as political pawns and unfortunately that's happening and the impetus of all this is the pride day um, assembly which is happening as we speak right. and the parents had a problem with their kids being taught about two mommies and two daddies which is featured in the book that is being shared today do you what do you say to them when they say kindergarten is too young look I think that this is number one a book that's been approved uh, based on California state standards secondly there is no sex education revealed in this book there's nothing but a fair representation of the reality of families in our community when you exclude some you are uh, demonizing or dehumanizing uh, some in our community. We are a diverse community and we ought to accept that. And in terms of the teacher whose, whose pride flag was burned, that's a, it's a trans teacher who was removed from the school for safety reasons. The parents say that they were not responsible for burning that flag. Do you dispute that or have any information on, on who's behind it? I know the LAPD is investigating right now. That is actually the subject of an ongoing investigation. We do want to get to the bottom of who is responsible uh, for a whole host of reasons. And uh, we hope to, uh, to arrive at the answers at some point. Looking at what just transpired here, the a fight breaking out, it was supposed to be a peaceful protest. Is there any safety concern? I mean, we're just at the steps of this elementary school with kids that are not far from where we are. The reason why I'm here is to ensure a safe learning environment and uh, safe access. We were able to create an entrance to the school away from the protest to keep kids and parents uh, from the confusion and, uh, sadly, some of the insults that we've seen. Uh, we wanted kids not to experience this. So kids were able to enter the school without any issue. Uh, it is disturbing, disappointing, and sad uh, that some individuals go beyond elevating their voices into physical altercations. We are better than that. Any other any other um, message? Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, so um, as we just leave you with, with what's happening here, as hey, these two sides are creating tension. Hey, Christina, can we ask you a question? Uh, yes, sorry. No, sorry, no, no, no problem. I know it's loud out there. The students, so just to clarify for people out there that may be joining us, this is a, the protest is happening at Satakoy Elementary in North Hollywood. We're seeing the scene outside the school, but inside the school, the students are at an assembly. Yes, that is the impetus for all of this, is a Pride Day assembly within the school that is teaching about different families, including same-sex families, so two mommies, two daddies, and the Armenian community in particular, and the Hispanic community, that is that both of those groups are largely represented at this school, and, and the parents say they feel like it is not age-appropriate to teach kids as young as kindergarten about... Um, you know, this thing. They want to be the ones to teach them, but they said it would be peaceful, and it's just, it, it seems like there is a lot of emotion and, and tension behind what's happening, and, and frankly, 
you know, I, I'm questioning the safety here this morning. Sure. Yeah, I was I was just going to say, I mean, it's, it's just a street separating the two protest groups. And, yeah, you have police out there. But, unfortunately, yeah, we're seeing things kind of deteriorate out there. Christina, we're going to check back in with you all morning long to keep an eye on this. Thank you for your reporting out there. You got those kids. This is happening outside of the school, yeah. opposing sides. You got those kids inside the school at an assembly with this real-life lesson. You know, that's happening right in front of them. Right? Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll check in with Christina in just a bit.